Greetings from Solved Gadgets. Are you prepared to view the assortment of cool gadgets we compiled today? We have a series of futuristic concepts in today's video that you haven't seen before. So, get your popcorn and find a comfy spot on the couch to observe and admire the works of these futuristic geniuses who will change the world and would uplift to a new level. The electrified bikes are now being researched and manufactured by industry behemoths like Yamaha and Ducati in an effort to strengthen their market positions and increase their market shares. Nonetheless, we have an extremely intriguing proposal and approach from a Taiwanese developer right here. It is a petrol engine motorbike indeed, made for employment in woods, mountains, and other locations where using a vehicle is impractical and driving an ATB is just too sluggish. The detachable, portable unit storage modules for keeping accessories are indeed the major component. They are five in numbers and have a combined capacity of 45 gallons. The configuration of the structure also proved to be intriguing. While it appears modern and extremely durable, the creator is absolutely certain that the motorbike would be convenient to ride, perhaps on tough terrain. What's really known about its features is that it includes a 40-horsepower engine with a capacity of 186 miles, a color display in place of a dashboard, and compatibility for advanced wireless charging functionality. It has been widely observed that the Hindenburg catastrophe 86 years ago officially marked the end of the airship period. Surprisingly, since that time, technology has advanced enormously. That's the reason exactly a British business happened to come up with the notion to resurrect this kind of air travel and redevelop this approach. The project's creator claims that it is predicated on innovation developed by that of the American business Aeroscrap. Even the U.S. Department of Defense were intrigued by it, to the point that they provided funding for a technology demonstrator. This technique that enables completely autonomous flight and takeoff and landing without lowering ballast weights. In addition to all of that, the British idea encourages social interaction and relaxation. This is taken into consideration when developing the layout of the complete internal architecture. In essence, this is a cruise ship in the clouds. I believe that it appears to be fantastic. The German automobile industry obviously employs its own strategies. To sum it all up, around 6 million automobiles are produced in the nation each year, with Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Opel, and unquestionably BMW standing at the top. In today's modern lineup, we include the BMW XM hybrid crossover. In addition to having the various testing for this automobile been passed smoothly and effectively, however it is geared up for manufacturing. The U.S. has set a deadline of early 2023. $160,000 will serve as the starting price. Nonetheless, you should see for yourself what they focus on providing for this amount. 644 horsepower is generated by a V8 engine and an electric motor running in tandem. It is the company's heaviest vehicle ever with a curb weight of 6,063 pounds. The car pays from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds and has an opulent compartment with leather trim, LED lighting, and the iDrive multimedia system. Pre-orders are already being accepted for the car, which is planned to go on sale in April 2023. The following vehicle is a futuristic truck. The Camaze 2031 is the description given to this proposal. However, given that this is a conceptual proposal by a Russian 3D designer, we all shouldn't anticipate seeing anything comparable in 2031. Those of us who keep apprised of the latest developments in the automobile business likely recognize a homogeneous version from Volvo known as the Vera, and the firm first revealed its improvement in 2018 along with its shirts and prototypes. The Stein Winter Super Freight, which was first launched in the 1980s, is another vehicle that perhaps the Camaze 2031 is similar to. This initiative, by the way, eventually ran into both financial and technical challenges, however resulted in several computer games. The Camaze 2031's core concept revolves around the fact that the vehicle can revolve 360 degrees. Under unusual circumstances, it can even park by itself in confined locations. Will this endeavor be effective? How will cruise ships will perform in the coming years? Considering that in 2017, the anticipated number of cruise ship tourists, for instance, was roughly 28 million, which is essentially the whole population of Ghana. Moreover, each traveler has to feel convenient as well as protected and have access to lots of amusement. 
Therefore, a notion that resembles a spacecraft might could materialize someday. The cruise ship is 771 feet long, that is roughly corresponds to the size and shape of two soccer fields. It comprises seven floors, including a leisure center with a pool, a small park, a museum, and even an auditorium, in addition to the cottages. The concept of education is highly valued by the artists. The vessel will assist passengers in learning more about nature, the sea, and environmental protection. They are currently offering a 3.3 feet model, but who knows, one day we might see something considerably larger. Development activity has also been humming along in Spain because the researchers have several extremely lofty objectives. The inventor of this design is certain that the spacecraft would aid in the mining of resources on the moon and other asteroids, and it will also enable more comprehensive research on the solar system. He advises using replaceable boosters and a 3D printer to create parts of the ship elements to minimize expenditures. With a customized mother spaceship, the 37,479 pound weight could travel to Mars in, in 39 days. The next vessel in the lineup is a futuristic superyacht developed by a French naval architecture company. The 148 feet long vessel is intended for those who are turned off by traditional yachts due to the pollution they emit. The designers also intended to present the user with a fresh boat idea that was more in tune with nature and the surroundings. For this reason, the concept boat incorporates a hybrid engine that runs on energy generated by a fuel cell and hydrogen. It has two ocean wings that help the superyacht to go forward when there is a strong breeze. Seagulls and swans in the wild also served as an inspiration for the designers who were drawn to the bird's beauty as well as their lightness and fluidity. Undoubtedly, any individual who has ever traveled by bus in a traffic congestion has pondered whether or not it's time to take action. There seem to be currently a few possibilities, such as this prototype design offered by an organization of Russian designers. The notion stands out for its adaptability first and foremost. There are three designs accessible for customers, evocative of a bus terminal on wheels, free with insulated multiple storage chambers, and several purpose evocative of a taxi. Think of a bus terminal where the bus after it is full leaves on its own to get to its destination. These mobility technologies have the potential to significantly alter how we live. Namely, if they provide sufficient quickness, affordability, and comfort, numerous people will be able to give up their vehicles. Do you anticipate these technologies being used in our towns in the foreseeable future?